welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to do a makeup look using the new Anastasia artist palette and this is appropriately named because it's just a beautiful beautiful you know palette filled with just so many different colors and I thought it was just time to pick up an all color palette you know as opposed to all the neutral all the matte palettes that, that have been coming out they're lovely they're beautiful but it's time for some color and this is great to incorporate with those neutral palettes as well and it, you know just for summer in general I, I definitely want to do something with more color and I thought this was perfect for the upcoming looks that I wanted to do so I wanted to do two possibly three looks let me know if you guys want me to do a third one inspired by artwork murals um, in the Chicago area there's a neighborhood called Pilsen um, and I'll link down below you know which looks I'll be doing specifically but it's just filled like you can just walk around the neighborhood and it's just you know buildings and mural artwork of, of just like you know Mexican art cultural work and then it's gone to you know a little bit more modern art but especially I feel like um, I've been wanting I've wanting to do looks inspired by you know the Mexican cultural artwork just it's just beautiful you know if you're ever in the Chicago area definitely check out Pilsen um, it's just a great just walking by and seeing all this different artwork and as you can see I've had snapshots of just different art that maybe I didn't include you know using this looks but I know the look that I wanted to um that this is inspired by is a place called Casa Slan. And I don't know if you've, you know, Chicago area, if you're a visitor, if you've been to Casa Slan, honestly for me, I definitely had to do Casa Slan when I thought of inspired looks because that's just a place basically where, you know, a lot of parents took their kids to the park after school, which I did a lot with her mom, but I feel like where I spent a lot of my childhood was at Casa Slan. Um, specifically, I know she would go, you know, to do the danza, you know, the Aztec cultural dances, and Casa Slan in general is just like a community organization trying to keep, you know, maintain that Mexican in the cultural you know kind of awareness and they have so many programs where from like English classes um, and then just for like parents and children just for the community in general and I know um, uh, my name Xochitl if you're not kind of getting where this is coming from <laughs> you know um, you know the Aztec cultural as you know as well is prominence in Casa Slan as well as kind of all around the Pilsen neighborhood um, so I know that's something that's always been kind of important to me and I feel like as a kid, you know, I didn't love it as much because, you know, as a kid you just kind of want to like watch movies. And now I feel that I'm getting older, I appreciate it way more and that's somewhere that's really been prominent in my life and really has kind of helped keep that culture in my life you know because I feel like I was raised speaking Spanish but you know as you get older in school you get a lot of that English so I feel like it definitely is important to kind of keep a culture but I just love walking around through Pilsen and you just see beautiful artwork in between neighborhoods in the main streets and little streets so if you're ever in the Chicago area I'll link down below where some of these places are um, and it's kind of cool there's like a Google map guides of just beautiful murals going around so this Look is inspired by the Casaslan building specifically if you'll see the pattern around it um, and it's kind of like the yellow and the purple and um, surprisingly I actually really like how this look came out I hope you guys do as well um, so if you guys want to see how I got this look just keep on watching so I've already started by priming my eyes with Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot and then we're going to go in with the Artist Palette and the first color that I'm going to take is this one right here and this one is Buttery and I'm just going to use that real quick just to kind of set um, that paint pot and just kind of help you know everything blend and transition out really nicely together. And this is like just like a nice lid shade for me in general. And then I'm going to go in with this Dusty Rose color, which is just like a nice neutral transition shade. And I'm just going to buff it in with a fluffy brush. And this is the Sonia Kashuk 109. And this is just a really nice blending brush. And it's only $4 at Target. So I was like, okay, I need to stock up <laughs> with some more because you can, you always need a nice blending fluffy brush. Then I'm going to go in right here with this color, this yellow color called Fresh, um, P-H-R-E-S-H. So, and then that I'm going to put right on my lid. You can even just do these two colors together and just keep them crease. Then I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. This is actually the brush that comes with the palette. And I actually really like that they added kind of like a fluffy brush. 
um, which just makes sense, you know, <laughs> when you put a brush in a palette, just don't put any old brush. So we're just gonna kind of blend that out a little bit. Just so we don't have any harsh lines. Then we're gonna go in with this lighter purple shade right here called Punch Fuchsia. And I'm gonna take a Makeup Geek. This is the Outer V brush. And I'm just gonna use that for the Outer V. <laughs> And I'm just kind of tapping it just to give it the most amount of color and then we can blend it out. Then I'm just going to go back in with that clean brush and just kind of blend out the top. I'm just going to go in with that yellow color, yellow, and then just kind of mix the two together, just kind of blend them out the other side of the brush so it's not adding too much more color then I'm just gonna go with this kind of deeper burgundy brown purple <laughs> aubergine aubergine and I'm gonna take a pencil brush and this is the Sigma pencil brush and I cannot see the color because it's worn off because that's how much I love it just take a little bit start off and then I'm just gonna take that in the outer corner just to kind of deepen it a little bit Then I'm just going to go in and blend that out with a clean brush, just very lightly. And this is a Sigma E25. This brush I definitely know because I have like four or five of these and they're definitely worth it. All right, then I'm just gonna go back in with that buttery color and just highlight underneath my brow bone. Then we're just gonna take a Q-tip and then just clean up the edges. So just look a little bit better, less messy, and then when I add my wing liner, because I love wing liner, it's going to look a lot crisper. And we'll be right back to finish up the face and finish up the lower lash line. So I went ahead and did my wing liner with the L'Oreal Infallible Gel Liner in the black color. And then I went ahead and added Red Cherry 110 lashes, which are some of my favorites. <laughs> go ahead and use whatever lashes you would like. And I'm just going to go back in with that Punch Fuchsia and I'm just going to take that same kind of um, crease outer V brush and just kind of smudge that underneath my lash line. Then I'm going to go in with that Sigma E20, kind of more like a flat head type of brush and I'm going to dip into that aubergine and just kind of define my lower lash line. Just kind of like tap it in to the lash line. Then I'm just going to go back in and blend that back out with that same brush that we used Punch Fuchsia with. In my waterline, just to kind of brighten, I'm going to go in with this Rimmel Scandal Eyes. And this is in the color Nude, just to kind of open up my eyes a little bit. Then I'm just going to go back in with that color Buttery and just put that right into the inner corners. Then I'm just going to go ahead and add some of the NYX Skinny Mascara just to my lower lash line. And then here you have the finished look. 
I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe you would create this yourself with this palette or any other colors that you might have in your makeup collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys can recreate this look yourselves using the Artist palette if you bought it or other you know makeup items that you might have in your collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos and I'll see you guys next time.